Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the press. I am very moved today by the difficult decision that a group of parents who truly care about education, who truly care about their children, who truly care about community and keeping public education, neighborhood school education accessible to all children in the city of Chicago. I come here today to stand with them because I cannot think of a single other group in the city of Chicago who has worked as hard, who has struggled as hard, who has sought to bring innovation in the form of the proposal that they submitted to Chicago Public Schools to keep Diet, the Global Academy, Green Technology School, a reality in this community. And I know that the decision that they have come to today, having to resort to a most drastic action, didn't come about by taking it lightly. When you embark on a hunger fast, as they are doing, you place your life in danger. We just celebrated the 90th birthday of one of the leaders in the community that I live in, the little village Lawndale community, right. where parents had to, on a day like this, embark on a most drastic action because they cared about their children, because they cared about education, and because they felt empowered enough to say, we know what is necessary to prepare our children for their future, to train them to be able to be participants and contributors to the society, to enable them to pursue higher education. This is the highest motivation a human being can have to fight for what's fair, for what's just, and to be able to come here today and say, we have played by the rules, but it looks like the rules of the game have been changed and rigged, but we will not, but we will not stop at conventional means to ensure that we can look at our children in the eye, our grandchildren in the eye, and say, I did everything possible to ensure that you could be a successful member of this community and of our global world. I fought for Diet Global Academy and Green Technology School to become a reality. There's a reason why the proposal for Walter Diet Global Leadership and Green Technology High School is far superior to any other proposal that's been submitted. The reason is because we're not doing this to get a contract. That's right. The reason is because we did this with love. Right. We've worked with children in this community for over 20 years, consistently. We know the parents. We know the issues that exist in the community. Yeah. And we have been absolutely ignored by the same system that we pay taxes to. That's right. That's so right. we agree with Commissioner Garcia. The game does appear to be rigged. Yeah. And Chicago Public Schools will not be able to get away with a sound bite with this. That's you will not right. be able to message right. this away. We will be here yeah. and we will be That's there. Right. Yeah. You will see us and you will feel us because we are tired of our children being underserved and then being blamed for being underserved. That's right. So, shame on you, Mayor Rahm Emanuel. Shame! Shame on you, Alderman Wilburn. Shame on you. And shame on you, Chicago Public Schools. Shame on you. You should be work, you should be looking at what we gave you as a gift. Right. We gave you a model of how to honestly and respectfully engage the people directly impacted yeah. to improve basic quality of life yeah. institutions. Yeah. But instead of embracing the work that we have done in this community, and for this particular high school since 2009, 
Instead of embracing that work, what you do is ignore us and try to brand us if this is something wrong with us. It's actually something wrong with you. So we want to have another speaker come forward, longtime community uh, organizer, community leader, a former director of the Kenwood Oakland Community Organization, someone who has worked in the schools in this community since she was 19 years old. Right. I want to call forward Ms. J. Travis. All right. All right.